workers in Uganda have been the biggest contributors, with many of them coming up with research and innovations as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Worrying, however, is that many of the innovations done do not see the light of day. Apart from the prototypes which are made by our researchers using the little money we give them, there is no production. There is the ventilator. We asked for permission long ago. Nobody is even talking about it. And yet cases are increasing. Now there is this machine. They can only make 15 because that is the capacity. Why doesn't the government take this company up? Give them all the money they need to be able to produce maybe 150 a day. They will be able to employ so many young people but also solve a problem for the country. So definitely we need government support. Unveiling the TW20 touchless hand washing machine done with funds from the government of Uganda, Makere Vice Chancellor Professor Barnabas Nawangwe intimates that this will discourage innovators calling for concerted efforts. Makere University will continue innovating as we have always done, but we are going to increase it even more. We are activating our intellectual property office. We have staffed it, and we are going to give them all the necessary facilities to ensure that they look out for all the innovations that come out of our students and staff so that we can actually commercialize them. The touchless hand washing machine costed at 1.6 million shillings is expected to increase adherence to COVID-19 standard operating procedures. <laughs> Makere University has also closed its doors to the public after one of its staff tested positive to COVID-19. Speaking to journalists, the Vice Chancellor Professor Barnabas Nawangwe revealed that access to Makere University will be by appointment and regulated to a few people. Several remain stuck at the university main gate after the announcement. Zahar Namuli, NBS, Live at 9. The Forum for Democratic Change is blaming government for the rising cases of COVID-19 infection.